Deep in your gut, 40 trillion chemists are hard at work helping you digest your meals, making essential nutrients you can't produce on your own, and protecting you from disease. They're known by the people joining us on the show today as microbiomes, and they are a lot more important to your overall health than you might think. Dr. Don Flickema is an integrative medicine physician with Avera Health, and Becky Hansen is a health coach with Avera Health. They're here to tell us what we can all do to build a healthy system for our microbiome, and better still, how we can maintain an environment they can thrive in inside our gut. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. So, Dr. Flickema, let's just talk about why it's important that we have a healthy gut. Well, within your gut is a whole ecosystem of uh, bacteria, fungi, all kinds of microorganisms. Um, and they do, like you mentioned, a lot of different things for your body. Um, and so they're really important for your overall total health and the function of your body overall. So if we don't have a healthy gut, what can happen to our body? All kinds of things can happen. It really does affect your whole systemic health and different people are gonna exhibit that in different ways. So it's not, it's not just um, GI or gut symptoms. It's not just an upset stomach or constipation, um, but it can really go more systemic than that as far as um, even things from heart disease, cancer, um, brain illnesses like uh, anxiety and depression, all those things that are so prevalent in our culture right now. So Becky, Dr. Flickema mentioned a few signs like an upset stomach. Are there any other things that we might be experiencing that could say, hey, you need to get your healthy gut back? You know, I think number one is that we really have to listen or know that we are the boss of our bodies. So if you are experiencing some upset tummies or indigestion, that is not a normal thing. So you're the boss. You need to listen to that and go ahead and start investigating. If somebody comes into us and says, every time I eat pineapple, my stomach gets so upset. Well, of course, you shouldn't eat pineapple. I mean, everybody is so different. And so we, we really need to take a look at the individual person and see how we can help them. But it's so good. I know, <laughs> but maybe not for you. Right. So let's talk about, let's get into the diet now and how this can affect our gut health. What are some good things, tips for a healthy diet that we should be doing? Well, you know, we have the most, yes, it's on the slide as well. Um, the most documented um, research follows the Mediterranean diet. So I think if we follow along with the Mediterranean diet, which are the whole fruits, the whole vegetables, the healthy omega fats or, or the omega uh, healthy fats, like with fish and nuts and seeds, those types of things are really important for us to get in, as well as the lean proteins. Um, we put on the slide the fermented vegetables. It's really important that we're thinking in terms of making sure that vegetables are our overall plate when we're talking about eating our foods. Uh, any of the pickled foods is going to help, um, you know, really get our probiotics going in our stomach. So it's more of a natural way to get those probiotics instead of maybe taking a supplement. Right. Okay. So the one question I have, because I've heard that vegetables can be kind of roughage on your stomach and hard to digest. Should we be eating cooked vegetables? Is there a different way or certain types that we should be sticking to? Everybody's so different. Um, there are certain stomach issues where if you eat raw vegetables, it will just cause chaos. You know, it's almost like, um, you know, nails on a chalkboard for your stomach. Well, you need to listen to that. So maybe cooked vegetables for a time would be better. You know, calming things down, uh, listening to what your stomach is telling you. If, if foods are soothing, do that. You know, there's a lot of research that goes into, um, you know, just the calming of the foods that can help your gut renourish itself. And we also have three recipes that you shared with us, Becky. So mm -hmm. we will have those online later today that you can find on our website. Um, but let's talk about healthy habits now. Dr. Flickema, how can those affect us as well when it comes to our gut health? Well, really, all in all, everything that uh, helps your body feel better, such as regular exercise, getting adequate sleep, managing your stress, limiting uh, alcohol and caffeine, all of those things are good for that ecosystem in the, in the GI tract as well. So it is, um, you know, both systems uh, affect each other and uh, they can either hurt each other or help each other out. And uh, so it really is important to practice those healthy habits in order to maintain a, a good uh, population, the, the better bacteria in your gut. 
And you have something to kind of put this in perspective of what's going on inside of us. So yes. <laughs> explain what we're doing, and then I can kind of pull. And while okay. I do this, I just want you to talk about like what actually is happening inside mm -hmm. our gut mm -hmm. when we're not having a healthy gut. Right. So in the spirit of Halloween, I brought guts in a box. Guts in a box. We love that. And uh, I think oftentimes we don't realize um, this is a good um, illustration of really how much surface area right. is within our um, gastrointestinal tract and how much of a part of our body that really is. Um, so what you're pulling out right now is all small intestine. Still going. You're still going. <laughs> and small intestine on the average adult body measures about 20 feet. Wow. Yep, and now comes the large intestine, which is about five feet. And your microbiome um, really uh, starts from the mouth and it goes all the way to the very end of the gastrointestinal tract, the anus. So okay. um, we have that, that whole ecosystem lives all throughout there. It plays a major role in so many functions in our body. Um, you know, more uh, neurotransmitters are made in the gut than in the brain. Um, and that's where the neurotransmitters work is in the brain. Um, we also now know that um, there is a whole nervous system associated with the gut, and that's where you read about the gut-brain connection. Um, so think about, again, that all of that surface area is all nerves. It's all right. lined with nerves, and that nervous system communicates with your central nervous system, and that's really your whole command center for your whole body. So for every one message that comes down from the brain to the GI tract, there's about nine messages going up from the gastrointestinal tract to the brain. And it's your microbiome that's really um, managing those messages with wow, that. Wow, that yeah. is incredible. Our yeah. bodies are incredible Pretty things. Pretty amazing. Yeah, so Becky, mm -hmm. what if we are doing all these healthy tips that we talked about today and we're still struggling? Well, when you come in and you visit with um, Dr. Flickma or some of our other staff, and maybe you will see a health coach at that time, we're going to take a look at what you've been doing. Um, you know, I mentioned before of, of eating more of the Mediterranean type lifestyle and the fruits and the vegetables and the lean proteins and the healthy fats, but then we can also narrow it down even further. What is What are those certain triggers that are causing you to have bloating, uh, indigestion, acid reflux, and let's see if we can't um, minimize those symptoms a little bit more for you with, with whatever program that we figure out will work better for you. All right. Great tips, ladies. Thank you so much for coming in and talking about this today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Integrative medicine isn't just about your gut health. For holistic, evidence-based care that treats you as a complete person, make sure to explore the integrative medicine services at Avera. Call them at 605-332-332. 3241 or check out their services online at avera.org forward slash services forward slash integrative hyphen medicine.